Do lions get bitten by snakes? Can snakes kill lions? Which snake can kill a lion? Who would win in a fight, a snake or a lion? Did lions eat snakes? What animal can kill snakes? Animal venoms have evolved over millions of years for prey capture and defense from predators and rivals. Snake venoms in particular have evolved a wide diversity of peptides and proteins that induce harmful inflammatory and neurotoxic effects. If untreated, many envenomings result in death. In this video, we're going to discuss does the snake venom affect animals like a tiger or lion? The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Have you seen a snake fighting with lion? The snake usually is venomous and their bite can any animal no matter how large it is. Two groups of venomous snakes are particularly well-known, vipers Viperidae, and elapids Elapidae. Broadly speaking, the venoms in these two groups do different things to bite a victim. Vipers, which include adders and rattlesnakes, have venoms that are generally hemotoxic. This means they attack the circulatory system. They can cause bleeding or interfere with the blood's ability to clot. Many famously venomous snakes are elapids, such as cobras, mambas, crates, and taipans. Their venom is typically neurotoxic, which means that it interferes with their transmission of nerve impulses. It generally has an immobilizing effect, either making a victim's body turn rigid or become limp. Lots of animals use venom for predation, killing or immobilizing their prey before eating it. It's also commonly used for defense, serving would-be predators with a painful and memorable warning. There are about 700 species of front-fanged venomous snakes, almost all of which belong to the families Viperidae and Elapidae. There are an additional 1,800 rear-fanged species that belong to the family Colubridae. Almost all snakes evolved venom to help them hunt, but what the venom does to a prey item's body depends on the snake species. There are several other less common uses for venom. For example, male platypuses use their venomous spurs against their competition in the breeding season. Tawny crazy ants use theirs as an antidote to the venom of fire ants, and some species such as shrews are thought to use their venom to preserve food. Many of these are likely to be venomous too, though this group generally poses less of a threat to humans, with a few exceptions. Almost all snakes evolved venom to help them hunt, but some will also use it to defend themselves. The thing is that lions or tigers get bitten by snakes very rarely. Once that happens, the veterinary doctor and team arrived at the place and he gives an anti-poison injection to the lion. And after some, the tiger gets recovered. Snakes are quite dangerous, but a lion is even more dangerous. A snake is able to bite and inject venom into the lion. The lion's teeth are able to bite the head and completely crush the snake's head. Also, the one case found that is in zoo watch the snakes eat the toad, the salia lion paws on it and catches its neck while another lion, Jumbo, pulls the tail and the animal cuts the snake in two. The feisty python doesn't interfere further before sending the mouth out, making its teeth sharp and curved into the lion's face. Although pythons aren't good and kill their prey by stress, the teeth can still cause major damage. The animals that hunt and eventually kill the snake include most rapper species, eagles and hawks, honey tigers and mangoes are also capable of hunting and killing snakes. There are also king snakes that eat other snakes. According to forest officials, snakes of the viper family of vipers, which can infect hepatotoxic dishes, can drown the lion. Russell's viper, Diggy Whipper, is a family snake in Gujarat, and their poison, once it enters the bloodstream of a victim, can cause hemorrhage and cause death. Also, while considering the power of different snake like python and anaconda are among the largest and most dangerous species in the world. Although they belong to different snake families, they share many qualities and are often similar. If snake and lion will fight lion, the strongest will win. Also, a male lion has a head to body length of about 184 to 208 centimeters, and females are 160 to 184 centimeters in size. It's known that lions are in groups called pride. Pride consists of a few male lions, related females, and chicks. The group of female lions hunts together, and male lions are said to be key predators. 
The lion is the king of the jungle and is really powerful. It has very long teeth and sharp pins. Anada, on the other hand, can squeeze a creature with a power of 9,000 pounds per square inch. Siberian Tiger vs. Green Anaconda Fight Comparison Who Will Win? This question has a simple answer, that is, the largest snake in the world is Anaconda. A bite from a venomous snake isn't always deadly for people. The effects of some species' bites can be quite mild. But several snakes are household names thanks to their ultra-powerful venoms. Black Mambas, Dendrospis, Polylepis, and Inland Taipans, Oxyuranus, Microleptidus, are often on top lists of the world's most venomous snakes. But their venoms may seem like overkill as their diets are primarily small mammals and birds. So why are they so strong? Black mambas are highly venomous snakes. Their venom is strongly neurotoxic. It needs to be quick, explains Ronald. If it takes half an hour for the pain to kick in, a predator could still eat the snake. When they use it for predation, they don't want to give their prey time to escape. In terms of athletic ability, a snake is no match for a bird. For example, some mambas have venom that delivers a one-two punch. First, it quickly makes the prey go rigid. Then slower acting neurotoxins completely destroy nerve impulse transmission and the prey goes from rigid to floppy. The need for speed is similar for taipans. It's often noted that these snakes could kill thousands of mice with a single bite, but their venom didn't evolve for this purpose. Instead, their sledgehammer-like venom is for quickly taking down feisty prey like bandicoots that could cause the snake harm if they had a chance to fight back. In this footage, an Asiatic lion died after being bitten by a venomous snake in the Jasada range of Gear East Wildlife Division in Amreli District on Friday night, forest officers said. The lion, believed to be 13 to 15 years of age, was found dead at Savajiu Nehru Forest Area in Tulsishyam round of Jasada range by a team of forest staff out on routine patrolling duty on Saturday morning. Forest officers said that the carcass of the lion was taken to the animal care center in Jasadar for a post-mortem. Veterinarians observed marks of snake bites on the nose of the lion. Further autopsy procedure revealed that the animal had died due to internal bleeding. This established that the lion died due to snake bite. Dushant Vasavada, chief conservator of forests of Janagar Wildlife Circle said, According to forest officers, snakes of the viper viper family, which spew hemotoxic venom, could have bitten the lion. Russell's viper, saw scaled viper, are snakes of this family found in Gujarat, and their venom, once it enters the bloodstream of a victim, can cause hemorrhage and can even lead to death. Though doctors were rushed in, he was declared dead. Post mortem has confirmed the tiger died due to a snake bite and away from the dead tiger's paws inside a small burrow in the enclosure. The snake hit itself. The tiger had died after inflicting a bloody blow on the snake. Indoor zoo in charge, Dr. Otamia Dov, said the cobra had been paralyzed in the fight and they were trying to save it. About two years ago, a snake had entered the enclosure of two tigers, but the tigers killed it after a brief encounter. Rajan's death is a blow to Indoor Zoo as he was brought to the zoo about a month ago from a Chhattisgarh for breeding. The zoo is now left with three white tigresses. Dia, Shivani and their mother Sita. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video just for you guys.